what I was inspired by and wanted to highlight was the fact that people with learning disabilities, and in particular I think mild and moderate learning disabilities, mm. often are seen as different by society and mm. people don't understand why, mm. and they get picked on for all kinds of spurious reasons. Yeah. But I think broadly I'm interested in anybody in our society who, who gets treated differently mm. or mm. adversely because of their difference. It's something that I feel extremely passionately about. I think what's important to me in, in any of my work, both as an actor and as a writer, is to create characters. Yeah. And people meet characters and they see those characters as being what they see are the things that are the same about that person. Sure. That everybody has the same hopes and dreams. And so what I'm hoping is that people are excited and inspired by the story. Yeah. And then if they take away any other understanding mm. about um, about a person with learning disability, then mm. that's, that's a bonus. With Katie specifically, who's yeah. the lead character, she actually, for the majority of the play, is unaware that the person that she's fond of, Roxy, is part of this gang. Yeah. However, in a, in a more broad context, and I have done quite a lot of work, theatre work with young people and for young people, yeah. um, I believe that a lot of young people s s seek out a gang as, as, as a family mm. and as a way of belonging. Yeah. And I think young people have a lot of different choices in our society and have a lot of things coming at them. Mm. And I think, um, Broadly, I think I think our society kind of demonises young people in lots and lots of ways, sure. and I think young people are absolutely amazing and wonderful. Yeah. And yes, I think there are a huge amount of challenges. And for me personally, the fact that a lot of young people end up dying as a result of knife crime at the yeah. moment is another thing that I feel very mm. um, very angry about. Actually, mm. excited. <laughs> Yeah, I've had um, a research and development process on the play first, which sure. is fantastic, and I'm very lucky that um, that um, that other artists wanted to work on it before. But having having Ricky be interested in it is is amazing and wonderful, and and also very challenging. Oh, I, Stratford East is very dear to my heart. <laughs> it's it's one of my favourite theatres in London, probably the favourite theatre in London, for loads and loads of reasons, for the <laughs> diversity of its work, yeah. and and also because it really genuinely does aim to reflect um, London and society on its stages yeah. and I think that's very exciting and also in its audiences yeah. it actually has an audience that really reflects um, mm. London and its whole community and the community next door to the theatre and I think that's 